trying to fit in your spouse, your kids, your house, decluttering, cleaning, exercise, gardening, your job feels like such a struggle and yet you actually feel like you could probably only fit one or two of those in? Is it just me? Well, let's talk about balancing those things. So what we do instead is we make lists and we end up working harder and then we end up removing things that we like to do only to feel like we're still letting people down and not getting anything done. Here's why lists don't work. It's like trying to rearrange the deck chairs on a sinking ship. We're really not focusing on what the problem is here. And when we're making lists, we're not actually looking at what the procrastination really is and maybe where our focus really needs to be. We end up writing down a bunch of things and then probably spending our time on only a couple of things, not recognizing maybe where our energy is being depleted by other things because there are only 24 hours in the day. Here is what I do instead of dealing with that big struggle. It's called the solvent method and I read about it first in Tamara Rosier's book, Your Brain's Not Broken, and I will link that below. It's meant for people with ADHD, but it is super valuable even for those who don't have ADHD. And it breaks tasks down into four different colors. So let's jump into the red color. Red are those things that we have procrastinated. It's kind of like cooking over high heat and you end up burning that food. Oh my gosh, this is burning! Mom, did you know World War II started when Germany invaded Poland? What? It is stressful and somebody walks up to you trying to talk to you about World War II and you end up snapping at them. It's because we have procrastinated things to the point that they now create a huge stress feeling in our body and we are not happy about it. Yellow are those annoying, boring things like beets, <laughs> or folding laundry, putting laundry away, washing laundry. Can you tell I don't like laundry? Yellow is pretty much the things that we don't want to do, but that need to get done. And if we leave them too long, they turn into a red thing. Blue are those yummy, yummy treats like cookies, or like watching TV, scrolling social media, or for me, watching Max Miller, one of my favorite YouTubers. A few cookies a day, they're fine, but too many and you will definitely be stuck on the couch and it is hard to get up. It's the exact same with too many blue activities. It certainly increases my laziness and just makes it hard to get started overall. And a lot of blue activities can be done in this area. I love cooking and for me, cooking and gardening are things that make me feel really, really good. They're green things. They fill up my energy bucket. I was talking to Dawn, the minimal mom, and she was like, are you serious, cooking? Yeah, but that's the amazing thing is for all of us, it doesn't necessarily have to be the same thing. For you, it might be crafting. It's really anything that makes you feel amazingly productive and happy just like after you eat a salad. Now those colors all should be balanced somewhat. A lot of us really struggle between the yellow tasks and the blue tasks. So we put off those awful, gross, annoying, boring beets, bleh, only to just decide we're going to eat a bunch of cookies all day. So really what's happening is we're just sitting around scrolling social media or playing video games or just anything to procrastinate those yellow tasks. And I'm not saying that blue is bad, blue is good, but not if we're not getting Getting those yellow tasks done. We deny ourselves the green time because we just don't feel like we deserve it because we're just failing at absolutely everything by not getting those yellow tasks done and being like, oh, I spent too much time on social media, all of these things, but there's such a great strategy. So here is exactly what I do. Now, when I'm making my meal plan, I mean, <laughs> my schedule for the day. I work in all of the colors. Now a quick note about schedules. A lot of us struggle with the idea of living by a schedule and believe me, I completely understand. I refused and refused for years. Here's the thing. It's kind of like bowling. Have you ever gone bowling and seen little kids who have like the bumpers that they put up along the gutters? Now that is to keep the ball out of the gutter. It just keeps the ball going down the lane. Whether or not it's going super slow or super fast, it just keeps it going in the right direction. And that is what I love so much about a schedule is we're just keeping ourselves going. It's actually not constrictive. It's actually quite 
freeing. It's also super helpful if you love your planner and this beautiful, gorgeous hemlock and oak planner just sort of feels like a bit of a treat to myself when I'm working in it. This is the daily one. There's also a really cool weekly one. I love that there's a spot for a month in review. You can actually look over what your values are and your intentions, which is super nice. Or if you want something a bit simpler, maybe even a bit more inexpensive, you can check out this one from Amazon. I will link both of these planners below. And I don't recommend just making a to-do list, right? It might look like, okay, well, that's the solution. No, 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 no. If you do that, it can throw you off again. We look at that to-do list and we think, okay, that's boring, that's boring, that's boring, or I don't like that, I don't like that. I'm gonna start with these things. And then we end up just procrastinating things. There's a much better way to do it. What I do is I write down the things I want to get done. And then I will recognize, are they a yellow task, a red task, a green task, or a blue task? And P.S. The goal is to have almost no red tasks ever. I mean, it's okay and it happens, but just try to minimize them. They are bad for us. They're bad for you. They increase your cortisol. They just make us stressed out. They're just not good. And if your list looks anything like this, just make sure that you are peppering in some blue and some green. And try to give the blue a time limit though. Honestly, for me, usually 30 to 60 minutes is max. If I leave it too long, then quite often I will end up feeling really tired and just blah and not feel like getting back to the actual things that I wanna get done. You will realize that instead of dropping the ball, you are catching balls coming at you left and right. You're getting almost everything done. And some days you might overschedule yourself or you're tired or your cat ate a whole bag of catnip and has to go to the vet because he now has a bowel obstruction. But what you do is you just draw an arrow to the next day, reschedule it and call it done. One of the other things that can be a huge struggle for a lot of us is getting out of our comfort zone because we're nervous about making changes and maybe it's just hard to even get started. Check out this video here. It is so helpful to give you some good strategies on how to overcome that comfort zone. And I hope something great happens to you today. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.